So critics of Senator Mike Lee's bill are saying it will turn white collar American workers into blue collar workers by taking away their good paying jobs. What do you think of those criticisms? Are they valid? They are valid. And in fact, I wrote an entire book on this called Sold Out uh, a couple of years ago with a former software programmer, an American software programmer, John Miano, who became a lawyer to defend the very kinds of American workers who've been harmed irreparably by programs like this. And it has been a constant battle within the Republican Party. And we're not even talking about George Soros and the nonprofits and all of the left wing groups uh, that profit off of Open Borders Incorporated. But we're talking about the sellouts, the traitors within the Republican Party, led by Mike Lee, who's more interested in using this session to sneak through S-386, which is a massive giveaway of Indian green cards to tech workers who are low wage, who are not as skilled as American workers. And of course, we have to remember the larger context here of so many tens of thousands of American workers who've been laid off, not merely because of the run of the mill open borders flow of uh, mass migration of these workers, but of course, the extra slap in the face that has resulted because of all of the COVID um, uh, hysteria and uh, the, the COVID disruptions in the economy. And it's so demeaning as well because a lot of these workers, when they're being fired and being replaced by cheap foreign labor, a lot of them are being forced to then train the new hires and to train them. And I think that's just yet another slap in the face. But when it comes down to it, Republicans, we've become quite used to lip service, especially when it comes to immigration. Is this because a lot of senators such as Mike Lee are actually bought and paid for by Google and other big tech? They certainly are. And I've often said that uh, we should make these elected officials wear uniforms like NASCAR that brand them with all of their corporate sponsors. Uh, and it is Google. It's a lot of companies, and many of them are centered in Utah. Utah has been notorious for sending open borders Republicans. Orrin Hatch was another one. And so Mike Lee, who, remember, was a Tea Party revolter. He was supposed to be a revolutionary. He was going to go to Washington. Washington and end business as usual, and then ends up, of course, as the primary sponsor of swamp politics as usual that stabs American workers in the back. And the argument we always hear is that there's just not enough qualified Americans to fill these jobs and that, you know, if we want to compete, if we want Silicon Valley to continue its dominance in the global economy, that we need to just keep importing more and more workers. Is there any truth to those claims? No, and I would urge everyone to get a copy of Sold Out if you can, can, because we amassed all of the data, all of the studies that refute this idea that there is a quote unquote American worker labor shortage. And of course, we wrote that book before COVID ravaged the economy. But we have, and I have a thread on uh, Twitter, which I will retweet out that I started in February when we had all of the lockdown start of tens of thousands of workers. And we're not just talking about the IT companies themselves, but many other industries, uh, the hospitality industry, for example, uh, cruise lines, hotels, the insurance industry that employ all of these American high-tech workers. And as you mentioned, Kara, it's important to remind people that it, it is a disgrace that these American workers are forced to train their foreign replacements who are subpar in order to be able to get severance packages. Um, and, and the suffering it has been highlighted by uh, past administration officials. And of course, Jeff Sessions was a huge advocate for uh, American workers in this regard. And so that tells you that the Senate Republicans, by and large, have been opponents of the America first agenda that brought Trump into office in the first place. These are America last traitors. And it's time to drain this GOP swamp.